Hunter's homework help on number 5.3b, number 67. So we are supposed to solve using inverse. So first let's factor out a secant of x. So we're left with secant of x minus 4 equals 0. Next we solve for x using the zero product property. So secant of x equals 0, secant of x minus 4 equals 0. And really we could just flip this and just use cosine of x equals 1 over 0, right, the reciprocal. So therefore on this left side it is no solution. If we're looking at secant of x minus 4, so secant of x equals a positive 4, we can do the reciprocal. So cosine of x equals 1 over 4. Then let's go ahead and use arc cosine. So x equals arc cosine of 1 fourth, then we can add 2 n pi to get the repeating values. Now if you think about cosine is this graph, we're trying to find when does cosine of x equal a fourth, so let me just draw a line here. So our cosine of 1 fourth is this first value, but we have one more value here. One way to find that is if you remember that a period of cosine is 2 pi, think about the distance to arc cosine of 1 fourth is here. We need to find the distance from 2 pi here to get to this blue dot. So if you think about it, you're going to subtract the arc cosine of 1 fourth from the 2 pi, then it would get you the other values that we need. So 2n pi, then it's minus arc cosine of 1 fourth, and that is our other value that you need. So there's always two values that it hits on the cosine curve, and so hopefully this helps out.